Reuters. This police headquarters in the Iraqi oil town of Baiji was the latest target of suicide bombers who drove a fuel tanker into its front gates to devastating effect. At least 20 people are feared dead. Dozens more have been wounded, some trapped in the rubble as buildings collapsed. Witnesses say some of the victims were from a local education ministry next door. <laughs> Municipal workers were standing here when a tanker rammed into them. A young man was inside the vehicle. The truck blew up when it was driven into the crowd, killing many innocent people. Police had only just moved into the new headquarters, which lies among shops and houses. Their old building was wrecked in a similar attack in June, which claimed 27 lives. The attack came as Iraq's prime minister hit back at criticism from the U.S. ambassador to Baghdad that his government had made disappointing progress in reconciling the country's warring factions. We suffer from these declarations, but they reflect that this person was perhaps angry with our visit to Syria. We are not concerned about these declarations. What we are concerned about is our own satisfaction, the satisfaction of our people remaining true to our commitment to democracy, our principles and our constitution. President Bush on Tuesday said it was up to the Iraqi people to decide the fate of Maliki's government and urged him to do more to broker peace. Paul Chapman, Reuters.